I'm curious, what was the gateway for you guys getting into all of this? Were you fans of the book? Were you fans of the musical? Were you fans of the movies? What was the thing that pulled you in? Um, we were such fans of the book um, that we had um, had gone chasing the property before it was available. Um, we were a year or two early to this and, and, um, and had been doing a fair amount of detective work trying to figure out how to get at um, the story. And it felt like um, what I think it, it's become apparent it is right now, which is a massive thing, a massive story that inhabits so many people's um, emotional space and childhood and in their hearts um, that felt like it was ready to, to be put on screen again. And um, it was, uh, I guess it was fate. It came back around a couple of years after we, we failed to chase it down and, um, and was an incoming phone call. Of, Are you interested? And the answer wow. was yes. So how do you make sure that you don't make mistakes? What's the, the secret to that? By not worrying about making mistakes. Um, <laughs> I think you, you kind of, um, you have to just fall in love with it and you have to fall in love with the story and understand why you're falling in love with it. And then you got to keep a good eye on um, Rick and Becky's faces and to understand when there's stuff that's making them feel like um, this lives in the story that they, um, that they love and that's so personal to them. And when you're hitting a note that isn't quite right and um, a little sharp, a little flat, um, you pull it out and you just try to be really respectful of, of this thing that they um, have given so much of themselves to and that they've built um, over over all this time. And starting with them, I mean, starting with that relationship, it was really the four of us sort of during early COVID locked together to build this story and having, you know, this is their baby. They, you know, this came from Rick as a, such a personal story um, that it was that that I think made the difference that we had all that time together building this as a as a collaboration, as a team. So do you do one book? Do you do all the books? How do you factor all of that in? I mean, will we see a series for each book or what do we do? I think there's a um, I think there's absolutely an ambition on on our parts and on, you know, on, on Rick and Becky's parts to continue. Um, I think right now, four years into into this process and finally uh, being in a place for people to see it, we're excited for people to see this one and and um, and and it's it's ready it's time so talk about the casting of the kids what were you looking for from them what did they need to show to let you know that they're the right ones for the parts um we spoke to some people who had done this before um and i i think there was a part of me that hoped that there was a secret answer to that question and and it became clear quickly that there was not um and that you don't really know what it is until you see it and that you don't really know what you're going to get until you have it and until you're in front of a camera um, shooting scenes. And so there is a lot of standing on a very high, high diving board involved of understanding um, once you commit, um, you're hoping for the best. And we we got so improbably lucky to get three kids that also not only understood what was being asked of them, but were able to do it, um, do it under not particularly easy circumstances and do it to a degree where um, pretty early in the process, you forget their kids. Um, you just are watching actors do an amazing job with material that um, that you would write for any adult actor um, who, you know, who you had a tremendous amount of respect for. So, How many did you look at? Were there a lot? Oh, it was, it was a quite a few. It was a worldwide search. Thousand, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> quite yeah. a few. But I will say that, like once, um, once those kids became the choice, it was fairly apparent very quickly. Um, so it was they they separated themselves from the pack um, in a pretty persuasive way. And 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 you also need to make sure the chemistry is right too. Like that, it's not just about the individual uh, sitting in in that part, but it's also how did these three because. This, unlike, you know, a lot of stuff that's been done before in this space is like these three are pretty much in every scene for for most of the season. Talk about the guest stars. How do you decide who you're bringing in and who they're going to play? Um, you're a kid in a candy store. You know, there's there's <laughs> so many different, um, wildly different characters um, that that you have licensed to do so many different things with. And you find out very quickly that a lot of people have kids who love these books and are dying to be a part of it. 
Um, there were a lot of incoming phone calls. <laughs> there were a few incoming phone calls. Um, to me, it's always, um, I'm always looking for somebody who can be funny. Um, cause I think once you can do that, you can do anything. And so I think the, if there's a thread that runs through all of the co-stars, they all, um, have an incredible ability to, um, be effortlessly funny. And, so, and these were, they were all such pros, right? We brought in such high end pros that they could come in for a week and they just, you know, fall in love with the kids and just have a blast. Um, it was, we got so lucky and fortunate with the whole group across the entire season. Well, I'm excited to see it. I hope it's as good as, as, I, as what I've seen so far. And um, I hope you have lots of fun with this. It looks great. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it. Thank you.